Microsoft, it is one of the biggest tech giants in the world and I wouldn't trust them enough to help me find an M4 dog. This issue is really affecting the .NET world and it's hindering its performance. But before we jump into how and why, let's start with some of the most known examples on earth. Windows, its naming scheme makes zero sense. First up, we start with numbered version 1, 2 and 3. But then we switch up to the version after the year that they were released in, 95, 98, 2000. Then we switch up yet again into XP and Vista. But this naming scheme wouldn't last for long because we switch up yet again into the numbered version, 7, which is not even 7th version of the Windows operating system. Then we go incrementally, 8, and then we go up to 10. We skip 9 entirely. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because all the tech giants are scared of 9 because Apple also skipped iPhone 9. I'm not sure, but whatever the hell it is, it doesn't make any sense. But that's nothing compared to Xbox naming scheme. I'm a gamer and I don't know what the latest Xbox is called. We have Xbox, then we have Xbox 360, then we got Xbox One with Xbox One X and S also as those slim versions and those pro version. And then we got Xbox Series X and S. This is just asking for a disaster. I'm sure that many kids have been just disappointed at Christmas because their parents were sold the wrong version of their Xbox because they just didn't know because no one knows what the latest version is. Next up, Visual Studio versus Visual Studio Code. The abbreviation VS Code helps a bit, but still, I guess you try to pull Java versus JavaScript thing on us but you are stealing from your own company, which just basically kills Visual Studio searchability because VS Code is much more prevalent, it's free and it caters to a wider audience. And while Googling for VS Code issues is easier because that abbreviation is more precise, there is no way to Google Visual Studio reliably without getting the VS Code results. Why would you hinder the performance of your product like that? Why would you cannibalize it so much? Like with Java and JavaScript, it makes sense because you're trying to hook up under someone else's name, but it is your product. It is your own company. There's just no need for those two to be named so closely one after the other. And now let's talk about how Microsoft is keeping .NET from thriving and flourishing. And let me just say, I feel like .NET is awesome. I like making stuff in it. I feel like it's perfect for, for web development. They are making it faster every release, they are making it more readable, they are catering to wider and wider audiences, they are having this awesome YouTube channel when they are teaching you stuff. It's all open source, the community engagement is really nice, the people behind it are just so helpful and looking through Reddit posts and Twitter threads to help you out. It's just perfect, but Microsoft is holding it hostage with their naming scheme. So first up, we have C Sharp versus .NET. No other ecosystem does that where they have two names like Python, they don't have a second name. Java does not advertise themselves as JVM. And you have to know that we have to cater to people that are trying to get into this field and also HR. Try finding a job. You have to search for C Sharp, C Hash, .NET and .NET with a dot. And on top of that, some search engines will just prohibit you from inputting dot or hash. So you'll just have to search for net and end up with networking jobs or C and you'll just end up with C jobs or maybe C++. And that's not even all because Microsoft recently announced .NET Core which they already scrapped in favor of .NET so we now have .NET Framework, .NET and .NET Core. And let me tell you, nobody is so into .NET to know the differences. I've seen .NET Core 5 jobs because this just makes sense. Some people don't know the difference between .NET Framework and .NET Core. Some people don't even know that .NET is open source because the name is the same and they feel like everything stayed the same since the 2000s. I feel like the changes that recently happened with the naming got so convoluted and intertwined that nobody knows what exactly should be the correct name for that particular .NET version. And it could be much simpler. I don't know. They could have renamed it to OpenNet which would be the open source alternative and everyone would instantly know that this version of .NET is open source and maybe things would be easier right now in the marketing department for .NET. But okay, let's go even deeper. Blazor is another perfect example of how Microsoft screwed up the naming for a beautiful piece of technology. Blazor 
has two flavors, WebAssembly and server side, and the naming is not standardized. Searching for WebAssembly Blazor solutions could yield results from the server side, and for newbies, it is really tough to differentiate because the Blazor Wasm name is not standardized, and Blazor server side can be typed like Blazor server or Blazor server site or even just Blazor for someone who doesn't know that there is another alternative that maybe looks the same but works in a much entirely different way. And this might be very discouraging from using this because you just don't know what you're doing, you feel like you're lost and anything that you search for doesn't help because you don't even know why. And we have to cater to newbies and people that are not technical because we need people that are working in .NET and we also need people to take .NET as their preferred system of choice to create whatever they want to do. So I feel like .NET is awesome, it's just held hostage by their naming schemes. And that's it. Thank you for watching.